Mm -hmm. Sue, for how long are you gonna chill here? Don't you know that I'm in trouble? Oh, hi, Sammy. What kind of trouble are we talking about? What? LOL dolls are torturing me with all that let's play. And you are entertaining yourself here with air plasticine instead of helping me. Oh, since you're too busy to play along with the dolls, you need to come up with an exciting activity for them. Trust me on this. And crafts from an air plasticine are very exciting. Well, I don't think that those fidgets would want to sit quietly and sculpt. What in the name of cookies? Hey, how did that get there? Well, it depends on what to sculpt, actually. They will hardly resist a new playground. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you see? They are already helping. That was a stone in my bucket, Susie. I'm actually helping, too. Um, and where did the assistant go? Okay, this goes right here. There you go. The basis for the first swing on our playground is ready. Here, Sue. You work with plasticine, so you need a rolling pin. <laughs> You're just in time. But you miscalculated with the tool. <laughs> Such a wide plastic piece will work much better for us today. And we can even see how funny the shape of the plasticine changes. <laughs> you can make me a new hairstyle from it as well. I'm like Rapunzel, huh? Oh, could you lend me a couple of your beautiful strands for the craft? Uh, so it's not my destiny to change my image today. You can have it. Um, Sammy. <laughs> well, okay. Come on, Sammy. I don't need much. Just a few to make the loops so that the seat of our swing can be holding tight. Like this. Is that what you call I don't need much? Everyone will laugh at me like that. <laughs> They will have no time to laugh because they will swing. The final touch. And we're done. Aw, what a beautiful swing. I like it. So fun. Ah, uh, Susie, there's only one swing and so many dolls, if you know what I mean. Don't worry, Sammy. I always know what you mean. No playground can do without a proper seesaw. Whoosh. All right. Huh. Looks like you're making a solid base for it now. That's right, Sammy. One more piece and it's done. The next step is even easier. We'll make the central part of the seesaw and attach a couple of seats and handrails to it. All that's left to do is to put it all together. Come on, Sue, do it. I can barely hold it. Ugh. Okay, okay, got it. Well, now everyone can have some fun. Wow, that's, that's lovely. lovely. Let's try it. Woohoo! All right, I'll be on this one. I'm going to be on this one. <laughs> Sue to the rescue. <laughs> I also loved carousels when I was little. Oh, I wish I could ride them right now. This is so breathtaking. Yeah, the main thing is not to get dizzy. Whoa, whoa. Well, our carousel won't be spinning too fast, but it will defo be very bright. So now I need some kind of central piece. Here you are. Oh, <laughs> no, I need an axle. Can you help me with this? Oh, of course. Well, when did I let you down? Uh, this is coming here, now this one. Here you go. That's just what I need. Oh, my fattest you. You could have just said that. Why, thank you. We're going to take a small piece, which needs to be fixed on this side with plasticine. Hooray! Yay! We can spin. Yay! Not so fast. The craft isn't finished yet. Don't be in a hurry. There you go. Sit here for a while and make us something beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, yeah. Keeping in mind the speed of the wind and the force of the rotation. What are you doing? Huh? I'm here to help you. Because you're working so slowly, too impossible. What are you talking about? And what is this? Where is your help? Give me back my notebook. <gasps> now I see. Well, thanks, Sammy. All I need to do now is put it all together. Let's check. Yeah, everything works great. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa Carousel! Oh, <laughs> it's a mini Sam. No, no! There can only be one me in the world. He does look like me, though. So, our playground is growing little by little. But we need a slide. Oh, I remember the slides in TV Daba. First, you go up for like half an hour. And then, wah! You're flying down at the speed of light. Uh, and you land right into the pool. Awesome. Seriously? In Tibi Daba, are the pools right on the playgrounds? Well, yeah. Pools with plastic balls. There are plenty of them. Oh, balls, balls. We want a pool with balls, too. Uh, who pulled my tongue? Come on, Sammy. That is such a great idea. Let's make a little bend. That should be enough. Slide's ready, and we'll make a pool with balls on the count of three. I'm counting. One, two. <gasps> Shiver me, cheddars! On the count of three, indeed! <laughs> Did you doubt me, my slime friend? <laughs> 
Apparently, we're gonna need a lot of balls here. That's it, that's it, guys, easy. Put everything here. It's so fun, wow. I and like so it. Many beautiful yeah. balls. <laughs> Sammy, don't be greedy. They will play with your skateboard and then give it back. What if they break it? Holy cannoli! Now you see? Oh, that's slime artist. <laughs> it's good that I foresaw something like this and decided to make a skateboard. Phew! Took it back with a fight. Oh, this is so beautiful. What is it, Sue? You don't have a clue, oh quick-witted slime. Well, what if I do? This? Is it clearer now? <gasps> it's a skateboard! It's awesome, isn't it, guys? Then give us a thumbs up! Let's tighten the wheels a little so that they hold on better. And we're done! Ha -ha, let me try it! What? You again? What? Ha ha ha! Oh, all this running around gave me one more idea to make our playground even more beneficial for the dolls. Let's put a basketball hoop on it. It's fun and trains the muscles. Did I hear that right? Did you say basketball? I just love shooting hoops. Are you now? <laughs> Honestly, guys, this is the first time I've heard of this. Are you serious? I am widely known in narrow circles by the nickname Sly and Sam. Can you prove it after filming this episode? Well, I uh, haven't trained for a long time. I'll go now. That's just what I thought. <laughs> Hup, and the net is ready. We'll attach it to the shield. Oh, do you hear that? Looks like Sam's already shooting hoops. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh Seems that our flying Sam did not fly up, but down. Oh, Sue, I don't think my skills are up to par. Then maybe it's time to start training them? Well, of course. Where's my dream team? <laughs> let's not interfere with their workout, guys. Besides, I have some plasticine left. So let's make something fun. Uh, not that. Uh, probably not this either. Now we're talking. Sue, I'm thinking that the spring would help me jump higher. What do you say? You literally read my mind. If we glue one end of it to the base and the other one to our giraffe, we get another great rocker. Oh, how cute is this? Forget about jumping. I want to swing on it. But, Sue, there are no bushes or trees on our playground. I'll be right back. What? Where did he go? Here! This bucket and a shovel will create a real miracle. Well, let's see. Hey, you forgot the bucket. Oh, thanks. Let's dig some holes here and there first. And now let's add the magic seeds from the bucket, like this. Well, we can't do without life-giving moisture. Let's water our garden properly, like this. And a little bit here, uh-huh, there you go. <gasps> you see? I told you, it's magic in its purest form. Guys, do you agree with me? What are you saying? You didn't see everything properly? So, we'll fix it. Hi everyone, check out what we've got here. An LOL surprise hairball series package? Cool, I didn't know we were unboxing today. We're not, Sammy. This is just one of our old capsules. Ah. And if you guys remember, here under the top cap, there's a hairspray container. <laughs> we love LOL dolls, and it's especially great that they come in these awesome packages, which are also kind of a playset. Oh yeah, now give us a thumbs up, everybody who at least has one LOL doll. All right, Susie, let's get started. I have a hammer, and you got a drill. Chill out, there won't be any actual construction work. Oh. For starters, I want you to help me pick wallpaper. Hmm, I must say this color is not fashionable anymore. Okay, how do you like this one? It's brighter. No, no. 
pink is too plain for that room, you know. And it will make our agent baby look pale. Okay, you know what? Then I want to hear your suggestions. With great pleasure. I happen to have everything here. <laughs> wow, Sammy, you've got exquisite taste. Oh, I really want to have this wallpaper in my own bedroom. Just say the word, Susie, and Roger and I will reconstruct your bedroom before you know it. Why don't we focus on our craft for now? Guys, you should be very careful here and don't rush so that there are no wrinkles on our beautiful walls. And of course, it is very important to use correct measurements. Your craft should always look neat. If you have trouble with cutting and gluing, remember that you can always ask an adult to help. All right, next we're going to need foam paper, a little mirror, a few beads. Ugh, I'll just go get everything myself. Susie, are you sure you don't need my help? Okay, at this stage, glittery foam paper might really come in handy. Now this little piece goes here, and we've got ourselves a shelf. Hey, Susie, I couldn't find a small mirror. Is this sticker any good? Hmm, I think we need something more sturdy. Don't worry, I'll ask Roger to help me adjust it. In the meantime, here's a cute dressing table. Now this wall looks a bit empty, right? Should we make a couple of extra shelves? Shelves are too boring, Susie. Wow, would you just look at this, guys? Sammy, this mirror is amazing. Although, we could add a few sparkles to it. <laughs> so, Sammy, if not the shelves, then what do you think we should make? A sink! What? Trust me, I know that it's better to have a sink at hand while doing makeup or a hairdo. All right, and what do you suggest we make it out of? This! It's one of the packages left from the LOL surprise playset. And you always tell me to throw stuff like this away. That's quite an idea. Guys, support our frugal slime with a thumbs up. Here we go. Carefully press a little. Great! Susie, we can make a water tap from the wire. And I even found a perfect piece, but now I don't know where it is. Strange. Where? I know. Right behind you. Ha, that always happens to me. By the way, I really like your idea. Let's just bend the wire this way to give it the proper shape. And now we'll just add this cute bead to make the whole thing look more real. That's right, Susan. This is just what I had in mind. Now, guys, I'm going to show you something really sparkly. Whoa, this is very interesting. That is a lot of glitter. And what's it all going to be, Sue? Interesting. You're about to see what. Let's take this off. And voila, a beautiful ottoman is ready. One of a kind. <laughs> and this addition will make it match the whole interior of our room. Wow, are you impressed, guys? I know I am. Don't go anywhere and you'll see more. Guys, now we will make a few accessories for me. I'm so excited. And we're going to use quite an unusual prop this time. That's right. Guys, these are the rubber parts of regular pens. Now we'll carefully cut one this way. And then we'll simply wrap it around another pen rubber piece, like this. And that is how hair colors are made. Now let's take one more pen piece and cut it in half. Oop. Great. Next, we're going to use a piece of a glue stick and put these two together. This way, we'll get a tiny deodorant stick. Wow, guys, how cool is that? All right, now let's use one more rubber piece and a piece of a glue stick to make a mini version of the hairspray. A black marker will help us make this thing look real. You might also want to decorate your hairspray. Any beautiful rhinestone will do. Speaking of rhinestones... Uh, Susie, check out this cool perfume bottle that I made! Just look at this, guys. I bet there's a Slick Slime signature fragrance inside. <laughs> Let's place it here. And this is a custom-made scent by Sue. <laughs> How about something sparkly, huh? That's a great idea. Guys, this way you can make pretty much anything that you want. Before you use pens for your craft, make sure that nobody needs them to write something down. 
or you can use some old pens that aren't fit for writing anymore. This way, your craft will become eco-friendly in a way. Shiver me shatters! What happened, Sammy? Oh, I just spilled some glue all over myself! But don't you worry, Sue, I'm fine. I can see that! <laughs> and you actually gave me one more idea. Our doll might also need paper towels. To me, that's the world's coolest idea for a dollhouse. Do you agree with me, guys? Then you should give us a thumbs up. Well, everything seems to be in its place. Let's see what Agent Baby thinks of all this. Just remember, you are free to tell us if there is anything that you don't like about your new room. Deal? Then let's do this. Hmm. Oh, interesting. Sammy, I think she's ready to share. Right? Uh-huh. Hmm. She says that this room is just like what she saw in her dreams. But... But, so you see, she isn't sure that her current hairstyle allows her to use all these props. Well, of course! How could we forget? Check out what I have here. Our doll will look more beautiful than Rapunzel with this. But first, let's make a couple of adjustments to your makeup, sweetie. And Grandmaster Samuel is back again! What can I fetch you? A makeup brush or a paintbrush? Actually, I already have everything that I need. Nail polish too? Seriously? And a little bit of glitter. Just look how beautiful this color is. We'll sprinkle it on our doll's eyes and they will become very sparkly. Oh, how come I guessed that wrong? All right, Master Samuel. I'll take this. I help. This way, we'll get rid of the extra glitter from her face. Ooh, and check out what I did with her belongings. Wow, these shoes are glittery too. I just love them. I'm sure she will look gorgeous in this dress. Brilliant! Now we can finally deal with her hair. Let's use some magic. Voila! Oh, she's so beautiful. And I love that she has such long and soft hair. Guys, our renewed agent baby here is ready to look at everything that we made today. You're looking at them. Say hi to the girls again. And then we're going to throw a themed pajama party. What do you mean? Where are Pikachu and the others? All right, I got it. We're going to sew cute pajamas for them. Exactly. Do you want a jammy too? I can make one for you. Nope. We have to dress up four dolls. No time for ourselves. Take this. Okay, let's get started. I have paper patterns for all the pieces of each outfit. Trousers go first. We'll outline the shape. Sammy, help me with the other colors. Got it. Ugh, these are blending. I believe in you. Here is the first outline. Now let's carefully cut out the shape. That's easy. I wouldn't be so... Just like this, the first fleece piece is ready. We're going to deal with the other ones in the same way. Machine. Hey, Susie, you stole my thread. Oops, will you help me? Mm, no. Ha, <laughs> just kidding. Guys, we'll start sewing. If you're unsure, ask an adult for help. Yay, our first theme. Keep going, Sue. Right, let's continue working on the pants. Don't worry, each seam is Pretty. Give a thumbs up if you agree, guys. Yellow legs and yellow tail. Pikachu is cutest. <gasps> Susie, come on! We're running out of time. 
Tina. We're having a party with Pikachu, Sammy. Don't be so stiff. We'll make it in time. Look, I'm already sewing the back part of the costume. I am looking very closely. <laughs> Only upside down, but it's fun. Here we go. Go on, show us something fun too. After all, we are crafting here. <laughs> if you say so. All right, we're gonna need the sleeves and... Ta-da! This is what we've got, guys. Susie, I got stuck with the tail. <laughs> Check this out. Seams are nice. Great job, Sammy. Phew! Guys, I thought I'd turn gray before figuring it out. <laughs> guys, it happened for real! Oh, I wanna be young again! Don't worry, Sammy. You'll become yourself when I finish with the tail. Then tear off this fake beard! I'll sacrifice it for the craft! I'm afraid you're gonna need to shave. I'll do it! A no white strand will be left! Guys, we need to sew on the tail. Remember to be careful when working with the needle. Are we going to make a unicorn pajama too? What color? Yep, I'm thinking of a pink one. Awesome. Please continue. I'll be right back. Hmm, he looks suspicious. Anyway, we need to move on. Pikachu also has cute little ears with black tips. We just need to sew these pieces together like this. I'm back, and I've kept some stuff exactly for the situation. Thanks, Sam. Let's fill up the first ear. Sammy, where are you going? Hey, I can have secrets. I want to show her something. Let's go. Guys, we'll solve this mystery later. Let's make another ear. Cool. The last thing we'll make is a hood. It consists of the outer and the inner sides. Here they are. So let's get to this. First, you'll attach the ears and then sew together both sides of it. That's right. And don't forget about the border piece between them. Are you spying on me, Sammy? Uh, it's not me! All right, let's just wrap it up. Wow, looks cool. It totally slaps! In the meantime, I'm gonna take Miss Independent for a uh, girl's chat. Sounds mysterious. <laughs> Guys, we'll sew the pajama to the outer side of the hood. Be careful and look out for your fingers. <laughs> Try not to prick yourselves. Now we can sew up the inner side. This part can be really tricky. Ask an adult for help if needed. Phew, it's the cutest pajama I've ever seen! This is the result. The ends of the sleeves and trousers look messy, though. Whoopsie! I thought it was Pikachu style. <laughs> we'll sew the tiny cuffs on these parts, and it won't be a problem anymore. Here comes some Velcro for a comfortable wear. We'll attach it to the front, and that's it. The sleepover party is getting started. Let's get changed. Susie, I've got an idea. Let's spawn in Pikachu with a Pokemon ball. Pikachu, I choose you. Wow, you look gorgeous. Uh, Sue, I think she wants to dance with me. <laughs> wow, Sammy, you even blushed. It's so cute. The red cheeks is a finishing touch for this outfit. Get ready for a pajama dress. <laughs> Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. You're vibing here while I'm up to my ears and work. Sorry, Sammy. I promise the real party won't start without you. Let's keep up with the sewing. The second pajama has cute kitten ears. And that's it. Susie, come on! Hide the ears between the hood layers. I promise I'll keep them safe. And we shouldn't forget about the border piece. It's sewing time. Wow, Sue, you're so good with the sewing machine! Now we can attach it to the pajama dress. Ahem. I proudly present to you the best piece of craftsmanship! Wow, Sammy, you did great! It even has a pocket on the front! Guys, you're already familiar with this process. Let's get started. Do you remember how to make the cuffs? Let's add them to the sleeves and the hem. You know, I won 100 battles with other Pokémon. Wanna fight me, huh? Susie, wait, I haven't finished yet! Um, hello? Ah! What is going on, Sue? I just thought that you would want to dress her up yourself. After all, you designed this. Here is your pajama! Hey, why are you peeking? Close your eyes, everybody. Wow, she looks perfect, right, Sue? <laughs> G 
guys, check out this cute kitty. She can't wait for the party. Susie, it's all her fault. She dressed up herself. Almost all the guests have arrived. Pikachu, Kitty, and uh, Sammy, I don't recognize her. Holy cannoli, it's my fault. I took the decor to play for a bit and I got carried away. Finally, it's nice to meet you, little unicorn. You know, Sam didn't want to invite you. Hey, I thought you were talking about a real unicorn. Ah, this is the last guest. Wait, I'm coming. Guys, who do you think it will be? I'm getting excited. We have one more kitty. Welcome to the party. Oh, Shiver Me Shutters, we have twins. I hope they won't fight. Are they getting ready for a best dress battle? Touch me, it's so easy to leave me. All alone with the memory of my days in the sun. If you touch me, you'll understand what happiness is. Look, a party has begun. Wow, that was the most dramatic start to a party I've ever seen. Girl, don't be sad. You're here to have fun. Now the real party's starting over. I can't believe it. 